All right, here we go. First fight up, we got Jacko, Assassin, Sid, and Conquer Lilia. So we are bringing her in a speed aggro comp. And uh, for this team, we either go first and win or we lose. Uh, so luckily here, we are able to outspeed with our Assassin, Sid. Uh, and then after that, we have Conquer Lilius to ensure that we get some type of debuff. Now, Assassin, Sid does have a silence, but it isn't 100% guaranteed. And then from here, uh, we can make sure to proc the extra damage that we get from her s3 uh, and pretty much nuke out the jacko uh, jacko versus jacko here we get that extra attack and then it's pretty much gg so in a very fast aggressive comp uh, she seems to work pretty well and uh, if if you try to bring her in a slower comp i don't know whether or not she's gonna survive long enough especially on this build uh, because she is very paper thin and so again we've got her in the exact same comp again just to show you that uh, if you go first you win right <laughs> pretty much uh, but we could get 15 percent in here we don't take out that conquer this which is fine uh, we also don't have any debuffs or any buffs to proc that rimuru we don't get the immunity off of that Rimuru so uh, this one is a bit tough uh, we're thinking about whether or not to uh, provoke that a Ravi or the Conquer Lilius uh, but we should be able to take out the Conquer Lilius here again she doesn't have any molas yet Jacko zero molas still uh, still on the same build from the RTA and regular arena uh, we do proc the Rimuru here. He does steal the barrier and attack buff, but uh, uh, we get the stun. We already had some debuffs on that Apoc Ravi. And here for sure, we're going to lose someone uh, because our goal was to take out the Rimuru. But as you saw, we did get 15 percented. So that one was a feels bad. Uh, but uh, we're working on the Rimuru here. If we can get some stuns, we're able to proc our extra attack. Uh, and that's something that I think is actually pretty cool. Uh, even though Jacko is conditional, uh, even though she needs to have debuffs on the opposing unit in order for her to proc her extra attack, she can actually activate herself. So she does have a stun on the S1. And uh, if you are able to hit any unit with a stun, she's able to proc her own extra attack, which I think is pretty neat. It's actually really good. Uh, some units don't have that ability where they can activate themselves, right? Like uh, it's 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 tough for some other units, but uh, so far she's been doing pretty good in this type of uh, speed aggro comp. So uh, really liking her in this one. Uh, you know, in, in the next one here, we did lose our Assassin Sid, so we had to bring in another shadow unit. And uh, the other unit that I can think of that can potentially strip and give some type of debuff that's going to help the team is going to be Briar which is Sarah and we also brought her in for the damage as well uh this Rimuru I don't think had immunity uh so we were able to get some debuffs on the Landy and the Rimuru so we can kind of take our pick between Rimuru or Landy I'm thinking if the Rimuru is insanely tanky we probably don't kill right but 18k pretty easy because she gives herself attack buff and then we're gonna be able to follow up here and double tap that landy and then it's pretty much gg or not because this apoc ravi is pretty insane we don't get the crit here which is a feels bad but uh, we do get the unbuffable uh, we recently rebuilt our briar witches area uh to be a little bit better we because we plus 15 her we, we finally got uh the courage to give her all 15 molas and uh and she's been doing okay she's got the defense break on the s1 which is really really nice uh we were in a jam here because uh we were a race against the clock uh before this uh, apoc ravi just one shot our entire team uh the defense breaks help here and then the extra attacks that we keep procking so anytime that we land a debuff and we go with our jacko s1 uh we're able to get that extra attack which allows us to deal more damage because we weren't dealing enough damage to actually take her out and so here we're struggling with figuring out whether or not to go with the s3 because again zero molas does have an impact as you see we only do 9k 
but it was enough to take her out. But uh, here we go. Here is Jacko. Uh, we do have her on speed pen set, 33K, 3300 attack, 240 speed, 95 crit, uh, like almost 320 crit damage. And she actually did really, really well. I was very impressed with her damage on the S3 when you have some debuffs and the extra attack and the S1 into the extra attack was actually really, really nice. Uh, I can see putting some molas into her and her just destroying almost anything as long as they have debuffs. So keep that in mind, she is conditional. You do have to have debuffs. And on this build, she is very paper thin. Uh, I do like that she has those stuns uh, and uh, we didn't really use her for the chains of Chiron like we did uh, in the um, in the previous video, right? Uh, but you can definitely put whatever unit you want in the back. Usually it's going to be an AoE unit and uh, proc those chains of Chiron, which uh, can potentially do like an AoE stun, right? If you bring it with SSB like we did, uh, but it's putting her in the back like we did in GBG gives her that extra 25% chance to land the stun. Uh, it does activate, Chains of Chiron do activate on Jacko herself. So that's another thing about her is uh, she can apply that buff to herself as well. So I think that's pretty neat. But is she a 100% must pull uh, the best GG collab unit? I don't know. I, I think she's I think she's really good. She's really solid at what she does, uh, but I don't think she's a 100% must pull. Uh, she is going to work a lot better in a speed aggro comp like you saw. Uh, I think you could potentially build her tanky. I don't have the gear for like a counter tank set, which I think would be kind of interesting, kind of fun. But uh, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about Jacko? How has she fared for you so far? Let me know in the comment section below. Like always, if you haven't enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.